Good day, good day! <laughs> How the heck are ya? Welcome to Roverland! Boy, do I got something for you today! That's right, check it out! First off, a little uh, backstory on these babies. Uh, this is coming to you on a Monday. Well, uh, last Saturday, I went to finally one of my uh, kind of local diecast club meetings. It's an uh, hour and uh, 15 minutes away over in Appleton area, Nina to be precise. And uh, there is a guy there. And his wife, Scott and Lindsay, and I'll put, uh, yeah, you should see a thing there now. Uh, Scott and Lindsay uh, from S.C. Diecast. I believe that's the name. Uh, boy, I've done forgot. But anyway, you see it. Anyway, these people, uh, hardworking Americans, that's right, and uh, for a uh, second job, uh, for a business, they sell um, green light. They sell all kinds of stuff. Uh, check it out. I'll, I'll put up that uh, business card again. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I told him that I was going to do a, a review on these. And uh, he said, well, you're going to do a review? Well, here, uh, throw this in. I'm going to throw this in if you give me a shout out. So, <laughs> If you guys anything know anything about me, I'm a big Ace Ventura uh, fan, and uh, so I'm trying to collect all these uh, movie ones from Greenlight. Yes, I do collect other things other than uh, uh, Land Rovers, which is kind of surprising, but uh, Big Lebowski, Ace Ventura, they're doing some stuff from Greenlight Hollywood, and uh, so uh, thank you very much, Scott, for that. Really awesome. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm not got anything close to uh, the whole collection of that. But anyway, I said I got to buy two of these and uh, really gave me a good price. Uh, you, go over there, check those guys out. Uh, they will serve you right up. Uh, you can go, they, uh, they have a storefront. Uh, they do stuff online, so check them out. But for right now, thank you, thank you. Let's get on to uh, checking these out. So one of these we're going to open and one we're not. I don't know which one is what. But first off, we're going to take a look at uh, what we have here. This is all to rave right now. Um, yes. Um, Mini GT, which is um, a, a branch or a division of um, M. Uh, there it is. The TSM uh, model, scale miniatures, and that what that means, TSM model, means uh, true scale miniatures. They were started in 2006, Hong Kong-based company, um, and uh, just took right off. They uh, just, uh, just beautiful package. They, they really got stuff going on here, I tell you that. Uh, but... Uh, yeah, distributors over 20 countries worldwide. And like I say, the, the Mini GT is a series. Normally it's uh, race cars and things like that, but they did this here. And uh, this is a limited a one of 36, uh, 3,600. Uh, scale is 164 scale. This is a Land Rover. This is the Land Rover Defender 110 Camel Trophy winner team from... Uh, 89 I believe so these are not toys these are collector items um, yeah so 14 plus it says there uh, but very very cool there you go a uh, little bit of uh, details there uh, limited run okay so let's just talk a little bit about the mini GTs this is the first ones that I've gotten my hands on um, I've seen this come around they did do earlier, I believe it, earlier this year, they did do a Red Bull one, which was a flat black Red Bull on the side, uh, Red Bull on the hood, uh, but not any stuff on it. What did it, it didn't have the bull bar. Um, uh, it uh, had a rear tire with a cover on it, uh, no ladder, 
it did have the roof rack with four lights uh, but uh, no snorkel or anything like that uh, so that was the Red Bull version oh it did have a snorkel yeah it had the roof rack with the lights nothing on it and the snorkel uh, otherwise it was just plain and simple flat black with the Red Bull logo they did do a light blue one with surf boards on it and um, yeah two surfboards on the top and it was not the roof rack that you see here but it was uh, white wheels uh, white on the top but a nice blue uh, no bull bar it did have a uh, rear um, ladder to it and you can look this guys up man you can look these guys up google them and uh, you can see all kinds of good stuff so really cool model someday maybe I'll get those um, otherwise yeah just check this out here's uh, follow these guys you know um, not really much history to these people I mean you can't really find too much about them um, talking about that let's move on to uh, what this Miho exclusives don't have any information about that yeah not really sure this is, says US exclusive here but Miho exclusive um, I don't know who these people are Miho ex hobby I'm not sure if that's a hobby store or what but they have um, they work with a lot of different brands and they do exclusive stuff and so I'm not really sure who those people are could not find out any information about them if you know anything tell me a little bit more down below about this uh, I mean they're just there and everybody gawks over their stuff and you know it's like who are you what do you do <laughs> I don't know but anyway uh, we're gonna open this bugger up since I've been handling it and everything I think this is the one we're gonna open up uh, just to, uh, double checking here to see I didn't really uh, take a look at uh, these to see if there was something wrong with one or something like that that we should uh, not open one uh, open the other one but um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, pause the camera. I'm going to put on some gloves because I don't want to get uh, all goobered up. And I'll probably cut it open, all right? All right, so boom, there we go. We have uh, got our gloves on. Yeah, the uh, sausage fingers uh, fit right inside the gloves. I cut this open. Let's uh, just get it right out here and see what we have got. This is exciting. I, I did not open this. I, I just cut it open, and uh, I have. this is the first time I'm looking at this baby uh with you all right so there's the box there's the box you can put that in i think that thing's supposed to i don't think that fits in there but anyway uh yeah so here's the box we can kind of see that a uh, little bit uh closer and uh stuff like that so uh very kind of cool very kind of cool yeah so oh that right there is the uh yeah the winner the right hand drive uh 1989 camel trophy right hand drive so very, very awesome, very awesome. Cool, cool. All right, let's take a look at this model here. Oh, yes. Oh, wow, this is grand, this is glorious. Lots of little bits and pieces. Um, wow, uh, just great. Um, man, alive, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how how to really do this but we're just gonna start with the front got a nice uh, winch on there there is the defender on the front nose of that uh, hood uh, the camel trophy uh, bull bar on there awesome awesome that even looks like a worn winch that they use uh, pioneer tools on the hood there's that Union Jack flag uh, spare tire on the hood uh, Land Rover with the uh, Union Jack on the windshield uh, Camel Trophy placard up there. Yes Very very nice all those pieces are individual pieces Very very nice come around to the side here Yes, uh, you can see I, I probably won't be able to get it in focus there, and I can't read it um, But uh, Ives yes Ives the brothers Bob and Joe Ives are the winners. That's right. Uh, Bosch with the Warren Winch. Isn't that the Warren Winch uh, logo there? 
I'm not sure. I can't remember now. Camel Trophy details on the door handles. This is uh, the axles are uh, they're not freewheeling. They're they're uh, solid axles across. Beautiful, nice windows there. Nice tall windows. Window trim around the windows. Very very nice. There's the snorkel with the individual uh, side mirrors with reflective uh, sticker on there. Uh, let's just go around the vehicle first. Here's the back. It's got the ladder. Now I took. I said that that surf one had a different style of ladder. It's got a hump on it, not the straight one. Of course, it doesn't have this roof rack. Beautiful, beautiful uh, detailing back here. It's got a little tow hitch there. That is awesome. That is awesome. Spare tire, full spare tire. Uh, oh, I love the uh, Union Jacks up there in the corner of the roof line there. Quarter windows are back there. Yes, details in the tail lights. Very, very awesome there. Camel Trophy placard again on the uh, roof rack. Very, very nice. Kind of a mirrored image from the other side, except for this one that obviously has the filler cap, gas cap there. Very, very nice. Uh, looks like the back is, I don't know if that's a bench seat in the back there or uh, what, but the, the, the back seat here for the passengers, that's a solid bench seat with two jump seats. Uh, right hand drive, as you see. Yep, well, we got to get back into focus here. Very, very nice thing detail there let's take a peek at the bottom here of course we're upside down yep yep very kindly cool yes uh one screw uh construction with the tri screw there the triangle screw head mini gt made in china pretty accurate uh drive train yeah i would say that's pretty much it right there yeah very, very nice. Very nice. All right, let's take a look at the exciting stuff up on the roof rack here. So we have a sand ladder on the side. Those are usually uh, aluminum sand, sand ladders. Um, we've got a couple of cases up here. The aluminum cases here. I'm not really sure what this piece is here. Uh, because it's got some rope, obviously. Uh, they didn't have Yeti. <laughs> but that looks like a Yeti uh, uh, cooler chest back there. Got some uh, white cans. I believe that's fuel with the red caps. That's pretty neat. This, I believe, would be a tent of some sort. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Kind of small for a tent. But uh, some coolers, I think. Uh, packs there, maybe for re recovery equipment and tools. But very, very nice, very awesome. Uh, pretty, pretty accurate representation. Uh, the, these heavy-duty uh, roof racks, and I, it slips me what they use. It was a safari guard. I can't remember, but uh, they multiple, multiple uh, uh, tie downs. Uh, you know, attachment points to the roof, and uh, very, very nice. But beautiful color to it. Beautiful color to it. All right, you know, I got something for you guys. Uh, we're going to try this. I got a little turnaround table. I'm going to um, just, um, yeah, just be quiet for a moment. <laughs> I'm going to set this on the turn table here once it gets turned around here. And uh, we're going to just watch this little bugger go around for a little while. How's that? That is awesome. Get it kind of set up here so you can just feast your eyes upon that. That is just great. Awesome.
All righty, there you go, folks. That is awesome. Just a wonderful look at this uh, beautiful, beautiful truck. Great, great truck. Uh, I recommend you go ahead over, and I'm going to flash up here again. Uh, go over and visit Scott and Lindsay if you can, and uh, show their uh, business card again. All right, thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you come on over to Facebook, to Roverland, and um, Instagram, Roverland Channel. Yeah, and as always, as I say on the way out of these videos, my friends, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.